Chris Rock in a comedy as the straight guy? Well, that's exactly what happens in Two Days in New York, the sequel to Two Days in Paris. And we're here at an advanced screening at Landmark Sunshine Cinemas in downtown New York with the cast and some very special guests. You hardly ever play the straight guy, yet you still manage to stand out. What's your trick? How do you approach it? Uh, I mean, I play the straight funny guy. Oh. So, it's not... It's straight sometimes, but I, 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 I can slip my funny in. Yeah. What was it like to be the funny guy opposite Chris Rock, straight that, guy? <laughs> that was a dream come true, and that was the most weird thing ever, because, you know, he's, he's the funniest man alive. I mean, that guy, and, and, and I'm almost starstruck with that guy. I mean, I, at the beginning, I had to forget it was Chris Rock to just be able to play with him, right? Some people have said, oh, it's like Woody Allen, and Woody Allen's so synonymous with New York. How did you make New York your own? As a writer director. It was not easy, actually. It's one of the most challenging things. I didn't want to film it too much. I guess I felt almost shy of filming New York. I was like, I would film a street and I'm always like, oh my god, that reminds me too much. You know, if you do like a steady cam shot, it, it reminds me of this film, this film, this film. So it was hard. I had to find the right balance between filming New York and not using it too much as like something that's been used already. Independent film is moving more and more to LA. What do you think that New York has that LA doesn't? Um, I think that there's something, you know, to be said about, it's a sort of a cliche, but that the city plays very much of a character in anything that you make, and I feel like unless you're really doing a period piece, L.A. just doesn't have quite the same grounding feel when you're making a movie. I go to L.A. a lot, but when you get off the plane back in New York, your pace quickens, yeah. because New York is different than any other city. L.A. is kind of laid back. You go, you get up, you work out, you go to one meeting, and then it's over for the afternoon. New York, we work all day, work all night, party, get up and work all day, work all night, sleep on the weekends. You uh, speak to Barack, a cardboard cutout of Barack Obama for inspiration in the film, for support. Besides that being a funny choice, why did you choose him? Because there are so many black role models you could have chosen. Uh, he's first black president. Uh, you yeah. can't really top him right now. And you can find a car. It's hard to find a cardboard cutout of Rick James, so. That's true. Yeah. Why do you think there aren't more women directors and writers? Huh. Well, I think there are starting to be more yes. with like Lena, du Lena Dunham. Lena Dunham. Yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It's starting to be part of the cultural milk a little bit, mm -hmm. women, and we need more. Britt Marling. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's. I think it's a question of more women saying that they want to write and taking a chance to do that and, and, and sort of going with their impulse, having wanting their stories to be told. Maybe uh, a little bit of the fact that people think of directors as uh, people that are really level-headed and everything most of the time and a lot of people assume that women are kind of emotional and crazy and yeah. hormone-driven and yeah. all that stuff. Those stereotypes. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of stereotypes. Yeah. But a little bit also, I think, um, because there are not that many women directors, I think a few women maybe are more scared to go into that direction because they know it's not going to be an easy road. Your character's name is Mingus. You're sporting the classic Charles Mingus' uh, beard, the jazz singer. Well, is that as far as the homage goes? Or? That's kind of as far as the homage goes. I think I kind of try to pattern the character like on Elvis Mitchell. The, yeah? The oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, so we're friends and he's got a radio show. It's like, yeah? I'll play Elvis in this movie. Well, talking about inspiration, uh, Julie wrote this role for you. How, yes. does, how does it feel to be somebody's muse? Uh, it feels good. <laughs> I hope it happens again. You know, I don't even think about me when I write scripts. I think <laughs> about Denzel or Don Cheadle. This is a very adult film. What would you tell your friends at school about the film? Why they should see it? One, don't read the French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two, it's a very funny movie. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's good to see. Oh, great. Thank you. It's nice meeting you.